Hey Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This will be a reading to see who's coming forward as your next relationship partner, uh, what sort of elements are around this person um, and the relationship you'll form with them. So this can be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Uh, but please bear in mind it is a general reading. There will be an extended version that will look at this relationship in more detail. Uh, so to visit the extended version, you'll have that listed available in the show more section below. Also, I am currently providing private readings if you would like one with me. Otherwise, let's jump in and have a look and see, Scorpio, the next major love relationship. Okay, you've got the Ace of Wands, definitely a new chapter coming in, Scorpio. Uh, beautiful new chapter in love. So far, you've got the sign of Virgo and Libra that have come up around you. So it might be someone who is under one of these signs. Uh, very much points to a fated connection because we have the Wheel of Fortune here. Something about karmic uh, connections, a karmic love um, is coming up around you, Scorpio. Now, I feel like this is a beautiful new chapter that's almost designed here, uh, that's destined for you here, Scorpio. Now, let's have a look. I feel like this person is currently uh, available, okay? I don't feel like they're in some sort of partnership. I think they are highly independent, or they have this independent energy as the hermit here. Um, I feel like it is someone a little bit more quiet, though. So I feel like this person could be more reserved, the hermit likes to dwell and think and analyze and do things alone. So highly independent in nature, could be an entrepreneur or someone that is quite uh, big on autonomy, likes to do their own thing. I don't think this is someone that um, that really flocks to the crowd and does what everyone else does. I think they're nonconformist in a lot of ways. Uh, but it could be someone quite exotic with the Six of Wands, okay? There could be a passion for travel or you might meet whilst residing in different locations. Uh, but I do feel like, I mean, three out of the six cards are fire cards. So Aries, Sagittarius or Leo also comes to mind. And then you've got the moon that's come up twice. So it could be Cancer as well. Um, but I feel like it's someone that could be involved in sort of imports, exports, maybe legal trades, um, tradership, finance, maybe a more corporate setting uh, or something to do with imports, exports, maybe even the tourism industry. Uh or they like to travel. They could also be bilingual, multilingual, like a foreign energy to this person. Uh, but I feel like with lots of fire energy, there'll be a very strong attraction. And I think when the two of you first meet, uh, you know, this person is really going to, you know, get the juices going, Scorpio. I feel like they're really going to... Um, really going to evoke a lot of, uh, you know, chemistry and sexual activity, which is really nice. I think, you know, the Ace of Wands looking like a phallic symbol here. I just want to say, I don't think that's going to be an area where you'll struggle, Scorpio, okay? Um, but the Justice card, I feel like they could be in law. They could be quite big on equality. Um, there could be quite a mutualness. I don't think it's a one-sided relationship. I think there's a lot of fairness coming in, which is good. Um, but I think at times this person is going to want their space with the Hermit card. Um, I do feel like this person is prone to a bit of anxiety. So they might be anxiety ridden. Uh, but they are a bit of a perfectionist. So you might see some sort of tendencies of like obsessive compulsive disorder or they just need to perfect things or... They need, you know, I just feel like they're a very organized person. I don't think they're very frazzled. I don't think they're all over the place. Um, I think they're quite, uh, quite in tune with things that are happening. Uh, the two of ones comes up. So I don't know if this person has migrated or will migrate to where you're living. There might be a second home or a second location, perhaps even a second business. They might have multiple income streams coming up around them. Uh, but I feel like they are quite dreamy. And I say that because you can see sunrise, sunset, and you've got the moon here with this beautiful stream. And then, you know, I, I feel like they're quite creative, okay? Innovative, creative, dreamy. Uh, but I'm sensing that they're quite um, artistic in a way. Maybe with film, photography, fashion, uh, design, there might be something here that they are very talented at doing. I mean, they could even be multi-talented, Scorpio. 
this relationship has potential for you to move for them or for them to move closer to be with you or even uh, move in together. I think that's highly likely. So I think what can come of this is um, is is quite powerful. I think there's there's it does point to quite a solid future here, Scorpio, uh, between the both of you. And I think this this cosmic order of things, they're very observant. They pick up on things, but I think it's more because they're quite analytical rather than emotional. So it's not it's more uh, it's not just intuition, Scorpio. I think it's more than that. Um, but I'm getting the word solitude that's coming up, and I think that's to do with, I don't know if this relationship is going to form whilst we're in a period of solitude or isolation or um, reflection. I don't know if that's the case, but it could. Um, it could be an online meeting or meeting at a distance in, in some way, shape or form, and then coming together later on. But I think... I think this is a big chapter for you, Scorpio. I feel like with the Six of Wands sailing right into the Ace of Wands, it's it's a big relationship. Um, I don't know at first if you might be a little bit intimidated by this person or by what they want or will expect from you. Uh, I feel like the Ace of Wands stands there and it's quite confronting and or uh, intimidating. So the fact that that has come up, I think, points to... points to... Uh, how big and um, imposing this relationship could be for you. But, I mean, I do feel like there's excitement in this relationship. I, th I definitely feel there's adventure and there's something about movement. There'll be a lot of movement developing between you and this person, so that's a good sign. But I do know they, they will want their independence or they do want their space. I feel for a lot of you, this person has always been very independent. Uh, and they may currently be single and available, but they still want their independence. So that's something that I think they're really going to um, draw the line on here. But I feel like with this sword here that cuts cuts the serpent, you know, the serpent bites the hand, um, but he cuts the sword pieces through the serpent. Um, I don't know if this is the kind of person that likes to give people second chances. I feel like it's all or nothing with them. Um, and I feel like if someone does wrong by them, they won't hesitate to do wrong to them in return type thing. I mean, fair's fair, right? Maybe they really believe in karma. Uh, and they really advocate this sort this this sort of behavior, uh, Scorpio. They're, they're, I think they're all about that. You can see, and I do feel like uh, they are a good speaker, or they're quite logical, so they can um, string an argument quite well. And I wouldn't be surprised if they're a speaker, or they use communication or charisma for something like law or um, representation of some kind or um, sales. Like I feel like they're quite gifted uh, in that sort of area. But I think they'll tell you this. I think they'll be fairly forward. I don't think there's much mystery or there's elusiveness. I think what you see is what you get. I don't see that there's many layers to this person. I think pretty much everything is out there um, for you to discover and learn about them. And, and it will be quite an exciting thing for you, Scorpio. And I do feel like this chapter is big. I'm wondering if you might have someone else around you here with the two of ones. I'm wondering if you may have multiple people coming in here or it's sort of like you may have multiple options at the one time one of which will be this person so it'll be, it'll be interesting to see how that uh, sort of plays out for you uh, Scorpio but I do feel like it's a destined meeting and I do feel like um, I do feel like this person wants to show you off because the pe the peacock it's showmanship it's it's puffery and um, I do feel like this person is quite boastful but but confident and proud at the same time and I think uh, they'll really want to show you off I feel like they won't hesitate to do that Scorpio they'll be very proud to have you on their arm by their side so it's quite nice to see uh, but I will leave it at that and continue with the extended uh, and the, uh, the link to that will be available below in the show more section um, otherwise thank you so much for watching Scorpio I do hope this 
has been helpful for you and hopefully we shall be in touch soon. So thank you and bye for now.